This week, Greenpeace has released a new report revealing the carbon pollution impact of coal mines proposed for Queensland's Galilee Basin. Nine mega mines are proposed for the Galilee to produce 330 million tonnes of coal for export each year. Burning this coal could produce 705 million tonnes of carbon dioxide every year. If the Galilee Basin were a country, this carbon dioxide pollution would make it the seventh dirtiest fossil fuel burner on the planet. To export this coal, new ports and terminals are proposed, turning the reef into a coal superhighway. Australia has agreed to limit global warming to below 2 degrees above pre-industrial temperatures. One of these things is not like the other. Climate change is already altering our planet and its systems in ways that impact on our kids and their kids for generations to come. We're calling on the government to halt the coal expansion and prioritise the protection of the reef. It's clear there's a failure of our systems if the government isn't even counting the contribution our coal makes to climate change, and if new coal ports are trying to get approval next to beaches where turtles nest. This week, the Arctic sea ice reached its lowest point since humans started recording it. Greenpeace's ship, the Arctic Sunrise, is there to witness this unprecedented moment in the human tragedy. In an environmental crisis, when governments won't even admit there's a problem, it's up to the people who care to stand up and demand their attention. Together we can do this. Greenpeace has been protecting the planet for 40 years. With your help, we can win this epic battle to save the reef from coal. Please share our animation. Tell your friends what the coal industry is up to. Become a reef defender and make your voice heard.